What's up guys, in this video we are going to modify a wheel hub to work on this go-kart, so stay tuned. Alright guys, this co car right here has a hex bore axle and I got a hex bore hub but these were too big. So the answer to that, I already did this side over here, is to cut the center out of the old wheels and then weld them inside here. Let me show you the one I already done here. This is one I already did earlier today. So stay tuned for that. Uh, what I, I did have to cut this off. This is the unicorn mobile. I did have to cut this off, and I'm gonna add to weld in some supports because these bigger tires, it was not gonna fit with the road cage. So I'm gonna modify that. Not in this video, but this video we're gonna focus on making the wheel hubs. So let's get into the shop and get started. So first things first, we gotta remove these studs. So I'm gonna use my press here to remove these studs. Next step, I'm gonna take a cutoff wheel. I'm gonna cut it off and as flat as I can, and then we'll go from there. We're gonna do this on both sides. Alright, so we got this cut off. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Um, I think it'd probably been a lot easier with like a bandsaw. I don't have a bandsaw, guys. Uh, yeah, it kind of roughed this up, but I could fix this later. And it don't have to look too pretty. But, let me do the other side, and then we'll chuck it over into the lathe. And uh, face it off real good. And I'll start this camera back when we get to the lathe. So the last one I had to take to the lathe and cut a little bit before this would pop out. But as you can tell, this one's already wanting to pop out. So let's go ahead and and we'll clean it up on the lathe in a minute. Just to try to get this out. Hopefully we don't break my socket. There y'all have it guys, we got that out. Now let's see how it's all scratched up. Not that it matters much, but I'll put it over here in the light to try to face it some.
All right, I think I'm just gonna clean that off with a with a uh, sander. I'm gonna now it's time to get to the goat of the wheel, cutting the wheel out. Let's get started on that, and then. So I'll see y'all there. Guys, I was a little hesitant to show y'all me machining on the lathe because I'm new at it. I only had this lathe for about a month, but I'm still learning, and I decided to post it. And thanks to people like Craig from MC Engineering and Roger Smith Barn, I'm learning more every day. done we can tack this all up I found the uh, plates for my uh, press spaced these out perfect just like the old hub centers so let's tack this up and I'm gonna test fit it and I'll come back and we'll water it on up
guys. I'm gonna get this cleaned off. I'm gonna cool down, and we can add the uh, studs back to it. Uh, yeah, and uh, put put it on the go kart. So I will see y'all then. Okay, so it's still a little warm, so we're gonna use a pair of pliers. I'm gonna turn it over on the back side. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this these started. If I remember which pocket I put these in. Make sure it's tight. I'm just going to give it a little tap. Little tap. Tap. I just want these started enough to where afterwards I can take it. Well, come on. Let me get this one. A couple more. I just want these started enough so I can get them started the other way. Put them back in here. We're gonna use this. And where's the lug nut? Now one of these lug nuts, and we're gonna use an impact. You gotta use an impact. So you're gonna use the wrench as a spacer. I'm gonna turn it the opposite way for this and then you kind of run it in oh you got to go around and do all of these like that and in theory it should center itself back up some See. Trying to get all these started. Ooh, hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these other sides. Cause I showed you the method. You just use this. Pull that up using an impact. I tried wrenches before, ratchets before and it just don't work. So let me finish these other two and then we'll go to the go-kart. All right. So you have to see this. Still a little warm. That's why I, I got up. It's not like burning hot, but it's, it's still a little warm. And there y'all have it. Let's put the nut on. Should have been a washer, but I think the washer's been missing a while. I'm gonna have to probably go get a washer for it. But I gotta take it back apart again. I wanna paint it like I did the other side. But I wanna test fit it all. Let me get the socket. I wanna test fit it all, make sure everything goes like that side over there went on okay, or I had to modify some, so. So let me go grab the wheel. I'm kind of push up on this. So I'm on the go kart. I want to actually tilt the, tilt the go kart up here for a second. <sighs> there we have it. Let's start it on here. Got 
get a couple of them on here and they can sit down on the ground. I'm going to go ahead and tighten these on up. I got to go find another one because I lost one coming out here. So I got to find, go find it. But I'm going to put three on here just to hold it in place. There y'all have it guys. A go-kart hub that'll work. Now I can finish up the, uh, I'll weld in the supports, but now I can accept eight inch, this go-kart frame can accept eight inch wheels. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Remember your small engine Saturday live stream every Saturday, 8 p.m. Central time. Hope to see y'all there. I will see y'all in the next one.